So here's the bell of the ball. This is this Univox drum machine here that um, used to be my mom's. It's all about the fake Euro sound. Fantastic. How many bands do you think you've been in? Oh my gosh. Life? Can you count? I think I can do this. The only thing that'll get in the way is that since I play guitar, I have horrible math skills. Mental Landscape, Moonscape, Ton, Alternate Effect, Joel Martin and the Keychain Ensemble, Saul Goodman Trio, The Plus Side, The Eleventh Hour, Every Single Saturday, Bimbo, Big Believers, Running Jumps, Stealing Hearts, Fracas, Burning Ewell. Did I say every single Saturday? Those are all the bands that I've been a founding member of. Where did you grow up? I grew up in El Segundo, California. Oh yeah? Yes, yeah, where a lot of people go, El Segundo, I've never heard of that. How did this studio begin? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> uh, you know, being that I'm not responsible to record a whole band in here where you need to get, you know, 24 or 32 channels of mic pre's and mics and all the best stuff, uh, it let me just buy the best stuff for one channel. So I've got a great mic, great mic pre, great compressor, and then I've got a, a bunch of unique instruments here that are pretty fun to use. Our first gig was at my 40th birthday party in January 2012. You wanted to shoot this scene that was a party. I coincidentally was planning a large party for my 40th birthday. Can you believe 40? This It was going to be the premiere gig for the Running Jumps, which we were incredibly excited about. But um, yeah, for the poor unsuspected folks that just came to wish me a happy birthday, uh, the running jumps were playing and then in the middle of it, uh, you and uh, a couple of your actors just start, started doing your scene and doing your walkthrough. So um, lucky to be surrounded by a whole bunch of talent here in Los Angeles. Each musician's so special, you know, Sid Jordan's got a whole new approach to playing bass that's really fascinating, and Dave Johnstone's the best drummer out there, and Tom McDermott is an incredibly versatile, brilliant musician, so I just figured that they all needed to be involved. Uh, in the band and more so that they needed to play with each other you know I really wanted to see what would happen when you got Sid and Dave together as a rhythm section. In uh, late 2011 I started working on the material that was going to be the song catalog for the Running Chumps and uh, then we did our first gig and then uh, we released our first record in the summer of 2013. I also just like to play guitar. My pal Jamie Donish uh, and I decided that we needed to start our band Fracas, so we just play like old school 60s and 70s guitar rock, you know, Zeppelin, Sabbath. Uh, it's really a good rock experience. So we're playing with this great drummer named Kevin Stevens, and we're just trying to get out and play in LA as much as we can. And then I'm also trying to work on my pedal steel plane, so um, got a little country band called Steel and Hearts, which also does uh, golden age of country music covers. And uh, so basically just trying to develop all that stuff. That's always been something that's been important to me is, you know, being able to set a goal and then working towards achieving it. You know, in 2008, I started my recording environment here, um, started playing pedal steel. Um, and you know, all these things were not about the moment, but they were about where I would be, you know, so many years down the line. So here we are in 2013, the running jumps and fracas and stealing hearts are out there and doing their things. And then I've got this recording environment now that I've worked really hard at trying to be a better mixing engineer, a better recording engineer, you know, these things where someone can come to me and want to do a project and I can kind of knock it out for them. It's been a, a lot of work, but now I feel I'm at the point where um, I can just really purely focus on being a musician and doing what I want to do with the running jumps, which is to just continue to make good songs in the power pop psychedelic rock genre. Every time I get to play with Dave, Sid, and Todd is, you know, a, a breathtaking joy. So uh, that's really the main goal is just to continue that and see where it'll take us. When the cold first light of tomorrow finds your eyes, I'll kiss away.